Hey guys, I'm back with another candle review on this time around for the 14.5 ounce three wick applewood and clove candle from Bath and Body Works. This is part of the neutrals collection for the holiday time. I feel like a lot of people aren't really talking about this one, but I did pick it up so, and I'm burning it, so let's review it. So the notes on this read, rich applewood, warm clove, and white birch. Uh, so yeah, this is a pretty basic scent, but it's basic done in like a nice, uh, like cozy, traditional kind of way. It basically smells like uh, pumpkin apple, uh, very much that type of fragrance where it's your like super clove heavy apple fragrance that you would find particularly in the fall time, but I guess this could also be a winter fragrance as well. Uh, it's your like kind of spicy apple fragrance. It's very similar to pumpkin apple, which was also very similar to apple macchiato as well. So if you like pumpkin apple or apple, apple macchiato, this one's a version that's a little bit more robust and a little bit maybe a little bit more woodsy than the pumpkin apple and apple macchiato varieties. Uh, pumpkin apple tends to have this very like plasticky component to it and just an abysmal burn that I just never really get any satisfaction out of pumpkin apple. So this is an improvement from there. Apple Macchiato is a little bit creamier and sweeter than Pumpkin Apple, and this fragrance is, uh, and this one's probably the most like robust or woodsy and slightly rustic out of the three that I'm talking about, but all very, very similar fragrances. So yeah, you get your usual quote unquote pumpkin apple blend, which is usually a, you know, a blend of apple mixed with, I guess, pumpkin pie spices. And in this case, it's like clove and a little bit of cinnamon, heaps of clove, the same kind of clove you would find from pumpkin apple or pumpkin clove or pumpkin bonfire, similar to that type of fragrance, mixed with a little bit of cinnamon, and then obviously heaps of that apple. Uh, the apple is a little bit more of that warmer variety. It's not quite as uh, plasticky as pumpkin apple, and it's not that moldy variety we get from farm stain apple or heirloom apple or all the other millions of apples that we get from Bath & Body Works. It's not that like moldy apple, so I do appreciate that. So you get the apple, the clove, and the cinnamon, and then it's mixed with a slightly woodsy fragrance uh, that comes out a little bit more when you go to burn it. Uh, it's very similar to that sort of like glowing embers vibe that you get from Pumpkin Bonfire. It's very similar to Pumpkin Bonfire, but it's kind of like they took a uh, pumpkin out and then shoved an apple instead. So if you like Pumpkin Bonfire, I mean, I don't think it's a direct like dupe or swap, but very similar vibes to Pumpkin Bonfire in the sense that it has a slightly more rustic, like sort of woodsy, glowing embers type of feel is kind of chilling in the background of this fragrance. It's very reminiscent of Pumpkin Bonfire. So it's kind of like a sibling apple version of Pumpkin Bonfire. So that's pretty much what it smells like. Uh, kind of basic, just your usual like, you know, spiced apple fragrance. I guess it could potentially be, you know, like cinnamon covered apples or like spiced apples, a slightly kind of a like apple pie filling type of fragrance. You know what I'm saying? Just like that type of like traditional spiced apple fragrance. And that's pretty much all I can say about this. Uh, it's basic, but I feel like it's probably the best, best iteration of the ones that I talked about in the sense that you don't get the plasticiness or the moldiness. And there's a little bit more of that sort of warm robustness coming from that like birch and the sort of slightly woodsy smoky vibe that I get chilling in the back. Ground. Uh, so let's go into the performance. This is the fourth burn. It has a thick rope-like wicks. Uh, they do start sitting quite a bit uh, by the third hour, so make sure you're on top of trimming them and blow it out after the third hour as well. The thick rope-like wicks that just make you know massive flames that just soak like crazy. So just keep on top of the trimming, but otherwise pulls out fine and all that kind of stuff. As for the throw, I would say a good like six to a seven, uh, like sort of like in the medium to medium plus range. Uh, it's not like super strong, choke you out like heavy like a pumpkin peak on waffles, but it's not unscented by any means. I can totally smell it adequately in a bedroom area to about a seven and then an open concept area around like a six to a six and a half uh definitely like just slightly above medium i can smell it in any room that i put it in uh and that's pretty much it Overall, it's nice. It's not groundbreaking. I don't need to repurchase it. It is available in both a wallflower and room spray. So if you do particularly enjoy this fragrance, it's available in different formats. Uh, just a quintessential like fall into winter apple fragrance. And that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this uh, candle down below and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.